Here's how to put words behind a video in CapCut. Now, say you have a video and another video and you wanted to overlay words so that it looks like it's behind a certain subject, maybe an animal, a person, an object, whatever it may be, I'll show you how to do that. Let's open up CapCut here and tap on new project. And I'm gonna bring in this video and hit add. Now here you can see it's just a herd of elephants walking and I'm gonna tap on text at the bottom left here and hit add text. Now I'm gonna add some text, whatever I want. Let's say this is from a trip to from South Africa. So I'm gonna put in South Africa as the text and I am gonna make it big just like this. So it covers up part of the elephant, but not all of it. Now let's go over and tap on effects here. And let's just choose a random effect. Um, let's say this is the effect that I want to add. And then add an animation here. I'm gonna add in one of these animations, this retro typewriter and hit go. So basically what I've done is I've added this text. I'm gonna modify it a little bit. I've added this text on here and it covers part of the elephant. So now I'm gonna swipe this all the way over so that it covers this entire clip. I'm gonna delete out this cap cut ending. And on here, I am gonna hit export at the top right. Now this will export it and I'm gonna add it back in. So let's hit done, new project and add in that clip that I just created with the text on there. But what I'm gonna do is tap overlay at the bottom center, hit add overlay, and I'm gonna add another video on top of it and hit add. I'm gonna zoom in so that fills the entire screen here. And now you can see that it is overlaid on top of that, but I want the text to show up. So I'm gonna swipe over until I get to cut out and then hit remove background. So I'm not sure how great this will work because it usually works on people better than anything else, but you can see, yeah, it didn't really work. So let's just go back here, back again. This works better basically on people. So again, I'm gonna tap on it, zoom it in a bit. Let's go back to cutout and let's do a customized cutout. So basically what you can do is you can take your finger and you can kind of customize where you want it to be cut out. So again, it didn't really work very well in that in that regard. So basically this works better for humans. It works sometimes for other things, but you might need to fine tune it. But ultimately what you're gonna do is at a certain point, you're going to, let's do chroma key. At a certain point, what you're gonna do is you're going to select it so that the certain color is basically removed and then the main subject still appears there. So it'll look something like this, where you can see the subject, but in the background, there'll be the words or the characters, whatever you add in there. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you on the next one.